Hi everyone, it's David here at DigiTrains. Following on from our overview video of the excellent Wi-Fi Tracks WFD30 Wi-Fi module for NCE systems, we wanted to show you some of the nice additional features that we've discovered while using this great bit of kit. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've connected my laptop to the module by selecting it in my Wi-Fi settings. Once connected, I've opened up my web browser and entered the device's default IP address in the browser address bar as shown. This then opens up the WFD30 web page, which displays various clickable links. The two we are going to explore in this video are the locomotive roster and accessories. If we click the loco roster link, it will take us to this page. This will be initially blank. As you can see, our roster has been populated with the locos we have on our shop demonstration layout. To add a loco to your roster, you simply click the grey new loco button, which will take you to a screen which will allow you to assign a name to each loco DCC address, as so. Now the next feature is something we really like. By clicking on the function links, this will allow you to edit the names of the functions, so instead of appearing as function 1, function 2, etc. on Y throttle, you can rename them so they'll appear as name functions such as lights, sounds, whistles, etc. If you are happy with all the settings, all you simply need to do is click save. To get back to the main settings page, simply click back and now we shall have a look at the accessory settings by following the link. Accessories can be added in the same manner as locomotives by simply clicking the new accessory button. Each accessory address can have a name attached to it, which is also visible in Y throttle. Now once you have everything named, you simply open up Y Throttle on your chosen device, click the address icon at the bottom of the screen, and then the roster tab, and then you'll see all of your named locomotives. I will select our test example locomotive, then move over to the control screen. As you can now see, the top two function keys have the names that we assigned them instead of the generic function numbers, making it very easy to know which button does what. And if we swipe to the left, we can now see all of our accessories are nicely named as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it informative. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll see you soon.